arrived in Kathmandu early Sunday morning, a few hours after the earthquake, to a landscape of destruction. On the very first day, we got a taste of what the people went through a day before, as there were several aftershocks and tremors, one of them a massive 6.6 .6 on the scale, triggering immense panic, and we joined hundreds of residents who rushed out onto the streets. Reporting disasters is never easy and requires immense sensitivity, as those who've suffered and lost their loved ones are not just victims but also survivors. We also came across tales of immense courage and generosity from young men and women, not just locals but also tourists, volunteering at the local hospital, to those working overtime at the crematorium to perform last rites on the dead bodies, which have not stopped pouring in. It has been a week since the tragedy, and while there has been a slow return to the normal rhythms of everyday life, there are also scenes like these, which are a grim reminder that it will be a long time before Nepal recovers, much after the story has faded from the headlines. With camera person Rajesh Gupta in Kathmandu, Neha Masih for NDTV.